Sarah Fonseca has been a busy man since leaving prison on Monday. He paid his respects to the chief priest at the most sacred temple in Kandy. <laughs> Hundreds of supporters mobbed his convoy. Fonseca is aiming to fulfill their wishes by changing the political culture. Aspiration of the people, that's my agenda. Changing the corrupt politics in the country. When I do, if I can do that, that means I have done everything for, for this country. The former army commander stood as a joint opposition candidate to fight President Mahinda Rajapaksa in 2010. After his defeat, opposition parties went their separate ways. Racked by internal battles, these parties have been unable to mount any significant challenge against the government. Fonseca says a united front is key. If there is a united opposition, I will come and I will I'll have to be a part of that. Fonseca was one of the main architects of the defeat of the Tamil Tigers. That gives him the stature to take on the president, who enjoys unprecedented popularity. Samad Fonseca was stripped of his parliamentary seat following his conviction. Despite a presidential pardon, the former army chief cannot fight an election for seven years. The question is what this will mean for his political appeal. Analysts say a Fonseca with his wings clipped is not the same as the Fonseca whom the joint opposition embraced in 2010. Whilst in the short term people might think, ah, Fonseca is a potential challenger to the government, the long, medium to longer term consequences may well be that he further deepens divisions in the opposition. That may well be the hope and expectation, this kind of Machiavellian calculation of the government. The man who rose to the army's highest rank in a career spanning 40 years says he will bide his time. If you could wait for 30 years to win a war, waiting seven years or twice that 15 years to change the country to go in the right direction, in the political direction, right political direction, I think it's in the interest of the country it's okay. Some describe Fonseca as naive. Others say he's been misled. His supporters say he's a man with a purpose. But his return will certainly add spice to Sri Lankan politics. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.